91 scientists from 40 countries recently did a new study into climate change, and what they found is pretty devastating. The IPCC report that has just come out today is a very important component of the Paris Agreement. It says incontrovertibly, if we, the only thing that we're able to do is to keep temperatures to two degrees, we will be doing a sizable damage to our economy and losing millions of people and putting most of the SDGs, the Sustainable Development Goals, into jeopardy. If we are, however, able to keep our temperature rise to 1.5, we will actually have a more profitable economy, we will have produced many more jobs, and we will have held open the possibility to be able to achieve the SDGs. So it's a very stark contrast. So avoiding the most serious damage requires transforming the world economy within just a few years, and the damage would come at a cost of $54 trillion. We are not moving fast enough in the sector that has to do with the land use. We're not moving fast enough with smart agriculture, with restoration of degraded lands, with stopping deforestation. All of that family of issues that have to do with land use, we are not moving fast enough. So we have to work super hard all across the world to make sure that we don't hit the disaster that every scientist in the world is saying, iceberg. Straight ahead! It's right there, we're gonna run right into it! All the politicians on the ship are like, nope, I don't see it, I don't know, what do you mean? The message is that countries will need to cooperate, but they need to take collaborative and coordinated action if we're actually going to achieve a goal of 1.5 degrees warming. The, the message is over to governments at this stage. We've told you that the scientific facts, the evidence, the costs, it is up to the governments now to decide what to do with it.